Hi everyone, Lofty here with a quick video. Today I want to show you a cool little tool I found for developing any type of Android app that would really make your life a bit easier. It's called Screen Copy SCR CPY, and it allows you to control your Android device through your computer. So it pretty much lets you combine the best of both worlds between using a real device and an emulator. Um, it just kind of makes development easier and uh, makes it quicker too, I think. But it also is huge for now with everything being remote um doing demos i wish i had this or it's been out for about two years now but i wish i do about a year ago um but it's huge now because uh some computers if you're live streaming and um you want to uh show an emulator it could be a little bit laggy so this lets you just run it straight from your phone but you can record it right from your uh, desktop or stream it or be in a video conference or whatever but uh yeah this will be quick so let me just show you so um here's the github page for it and this is where you'll get it um it's made by jenny mobile um, and here's the page. Um, if you just go to the README, um, it tells you a little bit about it. The only requirements, um, well, you need an Android device with API 21 plus, and then just enable, uh, ADP debugging. Um, if you're an Android developer, I'm sure you have this, but if not, you can just go to, uh, enable developer options and just check this off. There's a link here that'll, uh, show you right how to do it. It's real simple. Um, and then it just gives you the instructions for installing it. Um, it's available for Linux, Windows, or Mac. I'll show you Windows, and Windows makes it really easy because it just gives you a zip with everything. Uh, a few extra steps for Mac or Linux, but it uh, should be pretty easy if you're familiar with the operating systems. And then um, it has a bunch of different options here. Uh, I really haven't played with them much. Um, basically, all you need to do for Windows is install it and use the main features, but you can always uh, look through these, and it has a lot of different customization options. But uh, anyway, let's go and install it real quick. So you'll go up here to Windows and just download the zip. Once you have that downloaded, um, you'll go look at that in your folder. So I have mine in my downloads here. So here we are here, it's right there. And then I made a folder um, in my users folder on my C drive. Um, or I was just going to copy it over real quick. Um, all you have to do is just extract all. And then there you go. And then basically you want to have your phone connected, um, your IDB enabled the phone. And all you're going to do is you're just going to run the screen copy.exe. Basically boots up with this a little bit always and uh, shows you some, just some logs. Don't really need anything unless you have a problem. And then here you go, here's your phone. So I can just look through everything and there we go. So that's pretty much all it is. And then you can control it and kind of do whatever you want from here. Um, I also want to show you just uh, using Android Studio with it and how easy it makes it. So let me minimize a few of these things here. So here we go. Um, have an Android an old app I made, uh, just a little quiz app, and I was just going to run this on the phone. Uh, set my phone here. So we're just going to run it real quick, and brings it up right like that. And uh, I just wanted to show you real quick. You can just debug um, right through here. So you debug that. I just put a breakpoint right here for the start quiz, and I hit start quiz, and it brings me right to the breakpoint here. Minimize the console there. Um, and then you can just debug normally and use the app just like that. And so this kind of just uh, lets you use uh, your keyboard and such and your mouse to use your phone, uh, which is very easy for typing in stuff. Uh, but it removes the kind of lag of emulators and any of those problems. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. So uh, I just want to show you this quick video, how easy it is to set up. And uh, also thanks to the developer who made this. So. Uh, Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or problems setting it up, and I'd be happy to help.